Yo, what's good? It's your boy Dadix. You get tuned into the motherfucking Blowing Smoke podcast, you bitch. <laughs> Yes, sir. You already know we live. What's popping with y'all, man? It's your boy, JG. You already know it's J. Jonah. Diving into season seven, episode five. Cinco, cinco. Damn, we halfway through another season, bro. We damn near two seasons in, in the new studio, bro. Back, back. But thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for subscribing. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? But it's a new odd number, and they know what comes with the odd numbers, bro. We got an individual in the stew with us today, man. Yes, sir. This next individual, bro, I feel like this one's long overdue. I'm excited for this one. Facts. Fucking this next individual in the stew with us, bro. <laughs> I got mad respect for him because not only did he come in the game and solidify himself, but he solidified himself doing what he wanted to do, making his own lane type shit. You feel me? Respect. I appreciate that. And with that, man, oh, <laughs> it just... Like, Comes more glories, bro, and which is a single out to right now. Demons out right now today. Make sure y'all go check that out. Go give it a listen. If you don't know who the fuck I'm talking about, bro, please give a BSP a warm welcome to Dad X. Dad yes, X. sir. We in this thing, ho. Yes, hey, sir. appreciate y'all having me, bro. Yes, hey, sir. I fuck with y'all. You know, I've been, I've been tuned in for a minute. You know, we definitely overdue. So we in this thing. Yeah, you know what yeah. Saying? Thank you, brother. How you been, bro? How, how's your Sunday? Oh, it's been good, bro. I just been staying out this heat. Like, I've, I've been in the Bay Area a lot, like, so uh, working Smart. on music, just in the studio and shit. So, um, bro, I've been sick with this with this heat the past few days. Yeah, but you're in the Bay, so you're, at least you're getting condo away from yeah, you. You're getting yeah. in the Bay too, though, huh? Yeah. yeah, it's been nice out there though. Like, it beats 111 and 109. Oh, bro. That's, that's what true. I'm saying. Like, I come back to this bitch and I'm like, God damn, I'm just like, <laughs> why am shit, I here? Bro, pumping my fucking AC every day and Hell shit. Yeah. Like, Hell I just yeah. been cool and shit. But if you don't know what we're here to do on the Blowing Smoke podcast, man, we're here to give an elevated, oh no, hold on. And for the new listeners and viewers tuning in, we're here to give an elevated perspective on everyday situations, talk our shit, and bring some real news to the table, bro. You yes, feel sir. Me? And while we do that, so, y'all see the glass in Dad X's hand. You feel me? Dad X, like, I need some wine too. We like to sip in Div JG. What we sipping on today, bro? What, what everybody got in their cup at this moment, I'm not gonna cap. It's actually pretty it's smooth. What'd you say, Dad Dex? Oh, yeah, this shit fire. Say that. I don't even be drinking wine like that. So they got, you know what I'm saying? You we gotta give bitch. It. We getting classy with it, you know what I'm saying? Give it a little sniff, bro. You gotta oh, yeah, off top. You gotta spin you know? it, spin it, bitch. Put my pinky up and shit. Yep, yep. Got the Van Rooten, oh, Van Rooten Vineyards out of Lodi. This is local, y'all. This is somebody, you know what I'm saying? That we real close to. Mm -hmm. It's a 2016 bottle of the Cabernet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's a 14.5%. That's kind of high. Most yeah. of them is like 12, 9, 13, 2. Mm -hmm. So okay. we got 14, 5 on this. And one. the cabs are more of the more, not, I don't just call it bitter, but more tart, tartar taste and shit yeah. like that. You know what I mean? Then, yep. and then, which will lead to the next bottle. There's mm -hmm. a little story behind this bottle, real quick. We got to get into it. JG and I. Oh, yeah. Went out this week. We went up to Lodi. We hit up a winery in, in, on Farney Lane. I wish I could get the side street that they were on. But the art winery, when we say we walked in, great vibes, had a conversation with Dave and Helen themselves. They said, hey, guys, if you guys are having an episode, we got to get this one on there. The Dog Day Red mm -hmm. pop. The story behind it was they basically had... Two, I don't want to call it spoiled bottles, but they just like barrels that were just like, oh, just dump them away. Yeah. Dude, throwing the bottles away. He was <clears> like, <throat> you know what? Let me put some ice on it and, and actually taste it. So this bottle is a bunch it's of mixtures one. of different shit, basically, it's is what he said. So I'll I was talk. like, you know what, Dave? Let's go. We got to have Dad X try this shit. You feel yeah. me? So that's what we're going to sip on next. That's Shout right. out to the D'Art family. Hell yeah. I think I'll their last name is actually Dart, Dart right? Dart, yeah. DR, DR is what they went because they have the art on, on top of it. And then Abby is the actual dog on the actual pictures, the meaning behind the pictures. Y'all need to go check them oh, out, man. Thanks. Y'all be, uh, be at the wineries and shit going crazy and shit? Fuck no. We're no? trying to. <laughs> we, no, we're trying to though, because we can't. We can't be out here representing wine and like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I, can't, I don't. We didn't even think that's that how they like, was on. It, it'd be hard to find us on shit like some yeah. Shit. I don't even know like shit about wine. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. I never really drink. My mom like super heavy. Like they go every week to get like you know 
fucking bundles of shit like yeah. back to the house. They got like a big ass winery. But and that, shit. That's cool. You say oh, that wow. though, because that that bottle you can't buy in stores. Like you can only yeah. be, go to that winery and get their bundles type shit for that's it. That's right. No, we're, we call ourselves the wine connoisseurs that have never been wine tasting. Yeah, hey, hey, that's so fire. We gotta we gotta go, but it's like ah, I don't yeah. want to get rid of that title. You no, feel facts. Me? If we could though, since we are the uh, sign- signature to all the uh, uh, drinks, yeah. let's get a little. A oh, warm yeah, welcome, top. cheers if yeah, we can, yeah. up in the air. Cheers, cheers, Salute cheers. Up, Thanks. Thank you for the invitation that you accepted, brother. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate y'all, man. Ah, you ready? I'm ready, bro. You already know me. You said I'm ready. To I'm ready to have good a good time. Too, I was just about to say, oh, yeah. I was ready to have a good time, get lit. Shout out, shout out, man. But um, you wanna go? I'll go in, I go, I'll go first. Go ahead, pop, get in there. I'm ready to get in the BSP. Nothing too crazy, Dad. Dex. We just here for the conversation. Cool, yes, calm, sir. connected. You feel me? So I'm pretty sure you heard this, you know, in other ways, maybe exactly like this a lot. But what inspired Dad Dex to pick up a pen and paper and actually attack the bo- <laughs> attack the booth? Um, shit, I always been uh, I've always been like music's just always been in my life, like since I was super young. You know what I'm saying? My parents were were really like my dad for for ex- for example. He uh has like a wide he listens to a wide range of shit like crazy shit. You know, like from Neil Young to like. Notorious and Tupac <laughs> and shit, just crazy, bro. And he's gotcha. like this old white dude, and damn, he's fucking his, you know. So I got, I just got a bunch of everything he listened to. I I grew up on super early, and yeah. So I have just a wide variety of music in me, and I've always, it's always been something that I was into. And I used to play drums and shit. You feel me? So I was in band super early on. I was like doing a bunch of that. Like just what? like as a kid, or this is like- when I was younger. You feel me? Yeah, like mm-hmm. like probably probably when I was like. In fourth, fifth grade, I was playing drum set and and I carried that on through, you know, middle school and shit like that. Mm. And I fucking, uh, so I was playing drums, right? And then my mom, she was a teacher. And so she had like a bunch of laptops when it was like the new year coming in. And she got me one that had a garage band on it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I just started fucking around on garage band, making beats and just bullshitting on it with my homies in the neighborhood, you know what I mean? Making like funny music and just parody song type shit. Just fuck around shit. Oh, let's take yeah. it back though, let's take it back. Yeah. Wait, what genre were you bobbing to the most when Pops was playing all that different shit? Oh man. Like when I, as a kid. Definitely, the pop I like, like a lot of funky shit, bro. Definitely Notorious for sure. Definitely uh, Snoop, like old Snoop shit. Um, Cameo, y'all, y'all mm-hmm. know Cameo and mm-hmm. shit? Mm-hmm. What's that funky um, shit? Like, yeah, ooh. that funky shit, you feel me? Okay. Shit like that. Um, and I used to listen to like a lot of alternative music, like Sum 41, um, bands like that, you know, Blink-182, shit like that. When, Damn. Now, fast forward, you say you were making parody uh, songs, all that shit. Like, were yeah. you hopping on YouTube beats? I know you see you kind of- Oh yeah, for sure, yeah, off top. It was all my that shit, my own was beats, YouTube beats. I was making my own shit, so like we would just fuck around on my shit. For, for the ones that don't know what that sound like, was that more oh, funky bro, type it, beat or was that- we, we were on just like, I mean, we in that era, it was like probably like Wiz Khalifa time. Oh, like, yeah, so yeah, we yeah, was like yeah. on that like Kush Orange Juice yeah, type yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah. that was an era right there. Yeah, you feel that me? Like, that was, I, I used to fuck with Wiz so heavy, bro. Like, when he was coming up, like, that shit was hella crazy. That's when we really started like putting shit together with like higher learning and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like, cause we hella fucked with that era and like, I even got like HLOD tatted on me. Like it was higher learning to die. You know what I mean? Y'all motherfuckers (laughs) out here. You know what I'm saying? So I was really, we were really heavy on that shit. And uh, yeah, bro, like, but back, back, backspace, I was, I was, when we got that laptop, so we were making those funny shit, making funny songs. And then I was like, fuck it, let me just fuck around and just write some shit and make make a song, like a real song. Mm-hmm. This is at the house. Yeah, just at the house, just by myself, you know what I mean? On like an old school snowball mic that's just like a USB mic type shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, I did it, I did a couple of songs and, and they were cool. Like they came to me, like I thought they were fire and shit. And I was like, okay, this shit's kind of dope. Uh-huh. So we kept making music and, and you know, my boy like, you know, soaring and shit. Mm-hmm. like. Shout out Soren. Soren. Yeah, feel me? He's a hip hop yeah, he, he go crazy, bro. He yeah, he goes crazy. stupid. Yeah, he goes stupid. And so, um, yeah, me and him, like, we linked up. And I had my, my other boy, A-Dub, and my other boy, Schnoo. And we just all linked up, and we were doing music. And my boy, RHB, my boy, Robbie from SAC. Mm-hmm. And we put that shit Shout together. Shout out the gang. I was yeah. just about to say, for real, for real. Mm-hmm. Now... Your your sound is more so all I'm sure all over the place at this point, right? You're yeah, not really for sure. Distinguishing, I'm I'm this at this point. Yeah, 
when did that sound come into play? When did that, I want to start um, getting on to something more that I can do? Yeah, shit. I mean, I would say probably like, definitely with Oh For Show and Digi, you know, like I started really finding like my true sound, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like just what I wanted to do and the music I wanted to make, you know what I mean? With their direction, I, they helped me a lot, you know what I mean? Like figuring out like what I want to do and where I want to go with it, you know what I mean? Oh, so, they were already in 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 the music kind of thing. Well, they were doing time. fucking, we, I mean, we came up together, you know what I mean? So like, but I just got a hell of love for them and their opinion because I know what they are, you know, they're super talented guys and- Respect. Digi's been doing it for a minute. Like he's been in the music industry for a while. Like he used to go on tours with with bands and shit back in the day. And he's just like super. He just has a lot of knowledge with that shit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So mm-hmm. <clears throat> when I met them, shit really started it's like more so like it just puzzle pieces just kind of yeah. We together. just started making crazy music. Like that's just really how it was, and we just vibed together really well and. Was that the gold? Were you like, damn, I want to find me sound? Or it just went in and- It just happened, like, really. You know what I mean? Yeah, it wasn't yeah, like, yeah. like, cause that's, I mean, when you're making music, it's like, you think you already, you know, you, I'm doing, doing that. I know already. what I want to do and shit. Like, but it just happens. Like you just start, you know, with, with practice, you know, makes perfect and shit. And you just got to make as much shit as possible. That's what I always tell people. Just make as much music, like create as much shit as possible. Mm-hmm. Create as much content as possible. Like, you know, even if it's shit you're not gonna drop, just always be creating, bro. Like, and that's what really how I got better at it. You know, just make it, just doing it, just making them, making as much music as I can, and you know, shit gets easier. You know what you like, and what you like is only dope shit. So it's like it just becomes clockwork. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So nice, master the formula. If you yeah, ask me. you feel me for yeah. sure. What would be like the uh, genre of music that you actually say you put out, like? To me, I'm not even trying to compare, but like, yeah. I love my nigga Lil Uzi. You kind of yeah, got like a Lil Uzi sure. type vibe. That's like rock star, rock star rap to yeah. me. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, what would you call you? I would style? definitely, I, I would say it's in that category and like a bunch of other shit. Like, it's like alternative, like trap type, you know, like, it's like, uh, pop, there's like pop in it. There's like a lot of shit. There's a lot of elements to it. Like, I don't really know what. Genre, you I would even call it really, but it's just a nice. mixture of just you know just mixing genres and shit. Mm-hmm. Nice. Do you you said you play the drums? Do you uh, yeah? Did, did that help coming in when making beats and shit like that? Oh, for sure. Music? Definitely when it comes to just like piecing shit together, you mm-hmm. know, putting like with sequences and like patterns and drum patterns and shit like that. Like for sure. You ever play an instrument? I play violin and piano. Swear. Okay. Yeah. I used oh, to play it. violin too back in the day. Yeah, like right. fifth grade, they like give you like an option if you yeah. want. You know what I'm saying? Swear. I, I never took music class. You like I the little box one and shit. Take, place. It, take it home and yeah. shit. <laughs> Gotta put the re- resin on the stick and everything. Hell okay. yeah. Okay. You in there. I was an heir. What about you? No, nah, like I said, I wish I would have played saxophone, but other than that, I'm good. Sax- pull up at the bitches. I mean, pull up at your girl. How- hey, baby, let me. I got a little song for you right why. now. Yeah, the saxophone would have been the one. <laughs> uh, but touching on it now, <coughs> being that you've established your sound, <coughs> he feeling it. He feeling it. Ooh, that's <laughs> a hot bag. Don't know where I wrote him up some stupid gas. Goddamn. Yeah, that shit got me right there. Uh, but knowing that you got a sound now, you feel me? Do you feel the pressure more so to continue to? stay on it meaning like um no not necessarily i like i mean i think i think like my fans know that i'm kind of all over the place like when i drop shit like i'll be in i'll drop some alternative ass like music and then i'll do like something completely different and Mm -hmm. you know so they're used to me doing a mix of shit you know what i mean so I, i think it's to a place where it's not like too at, like far out for me to do some different shit, you know. Got you. And then I feel like that, I comes, like that comes because you started off doing what you wanted to do. You didn't yeah. try to fit in with the wave for sure. And like, oh, I, that's, and y'all know how it is too. Like, bro, when from out here, like I was just, I was just telling Empire this shit. Like, when you're from out in a, from a place like this, like it's not easy to branch out and just not at and all. do that shit. You know, not like. At all. A lot. Most of the homies ain't listening to like alternative shit about your feelings or like relationships. Mm-hmm. And sh- they're like, you know, they're slapping on street music. Mm-hmm. That's real. And so it's like it takes time, you know, to to do that. But when you're able to just be you, bro, and and stand on your you know on your ten and just do what you love to do, it's it's you know shit. It just clicks, you know. 
It's respected yeah. more yeah. better that way too, because you went into a whole. You took the long way instead of you know what I'm saying. You For took sure. the harder way type thing, and you went and got it established too and respected. So that's what's actually, that's dope. So when you go into the studio, what it was, um. I mean, take from this what you can, but because I don't want to, I don't know how far you want to go into debt, and I would, yeah, I would no, love for, for you sure. to. But uh, what's your creative process that you that you go into when uh, when you want to have a successful studio session? Um, it as just far depends. As like, like the the people, the environment, the product, yeah. things like that. I used to have like hella people in the studio, like you know those sessions where it's just like all the homies there and just hella cracking and just hella shit going on. Because that's what I envision. Like that's yeah. what, that's a normal studio session for sure. Me type. But lately, like. I'd rather just be just me and the person I'm working with because I just get more shit done. I'm more productive that way. And like, I don't, you know, I'm not distracted by all this other shit. And it's just easier to knock out more music that way, mm -hmm. you know? So, who you hop in there with? Like, who's your producer right now? Well, shit, it's either, usually I'm working with Ophi and Digi. You know yeah, we I mean? didn't shout out. Shout out Ophi shout and Digi. Shout out Ophi and Digi. Show, like BSP alumni. You already know. Go check uh -huh. this episode out. And this out. is the first project that I worked with, this new kid. He's from fucking Mexico, bro. He's super fire. He's from Mexico? Yeah, he's from Mexico. Still out there in Mexico. Oh, wow. Yeah, and he's this, uh, he's this kid from... I uh, can't remember where he's from exactly, but he's yeah. from Mexico, and he's super dope. I linked I, with him through Instagram, and uh, he did four of the songs that's going to be on this project that I'm dropping. There's, there's five. It's yeah. just this EP I'm dropping. Demons is part of the EP. Okay. And uh, he he produced that shit too. Okay. All what right. the fuck? Well, let's, let's get deeper. Let's get mm -hmm. deeper. Demons, Pop. Let's get into our feelings. If in you want another unquote. water, uh, that next is one more right now. Right right in the... Uh, yep. Um, uh, he says... Uh, I, I know. It. I seen I was like, getting low. I need it. <laughs> demons. I said, what, what do you feel is one of your biggest demons as we speak? Demons. Uh, probably just myself. Like I'm always been my my worst my own worst enemy, you know what I'm saying? Like, just with just with like certain little shit that just little tedious shit I be doing. That yeah, yeah I that's to, real. You know, you feel you, me? Like you can yeah. get in your own way off top. For real. So I, you know, I'm, I'm working on myself always. That's dope. That's dope. For sure. Mental mental health. How important yeah, is that? You know what I'm saying? Very. Do you zen out? Like you be like mm. most definitely. I I I I be at the house just. You know, I used to hate being alone, bro. That was like one of my biggest issues because I had heavy drug addiction problems and I would never want to be by myself. I would always have to be like in the middle of the party or just, you know, like doing whatever. Like always, mm -hmm. if my homies were on some shit, I needed to be there. Like I'm not going to miss out on shit. Mm -hmm. Like I had the worst FOMO ever, bro. Like I would, yeah. like I would, I would hated missing out on shit. It was crazy, bro. Like I didn't like being alone at the house. And then it was just bad, like... Do you know why now? Oh, why for sure. Know? I mean, I was just... I think it was just... I don't know. Honestly, I, I, I don't know, to yeah. be honest with you. No, like, yeah. that part of it, I, I'm not I'm not sure why why I just couldn't be be there, like, by myself. I think it was just I was on drugs, bro. I was fucked up, and I just was yeah. trying to party and shit. Kind of distraction <laughs> in a way, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, I respect yeah, you, you at least me? for realizing, not realizing, but uh, uh, noticing that. Not oh, even for sure. You know what I'm saying, but it's like, at least you can speak on Oh, that. bro, it took me a long time to, like, uh, really realize, like, the, the issues I had. Like, it took a lot, you know. But once I had my daughter, you know, there was, it was the only decision to make, you know. Speaking on that, what would, what would be, like, what was your most epic experience, you know what I'm saying, back then? Like, what Ooh. was your most, like, Cause we asked Oops All Berries, Oops, I don't know if you ever seen that episode. That motherfucker, goddamn, bro. <laughs> I didn't see that one. I got to bro. Be, this nigga opened up tripping. like on levels. I was like, bro. So <laughs> I gotta ask you, it's like, what, what was like, what's your most epic? Like experience? my crazy, dr craziest drug experience type yeah. shit. Yeah, I have so many, bro. Like I have so many of the craziest stories. Say that. Um, shit. Let me think. It's hard to remember when you own the shit though. Like how you? Oh, for sure. You know what I'm no, like, most I'm, definitely. I'm, I mean, that's coming from with me too, Xanax, bro. bro like. You don't remember shit, bro. Like, you don't remember. Yeah, like, God I never damn, really dude. took any pills in my life. That's good, bro. Real, Fuck all that shit. It's it's Xanax. I always tell people like, because I didn't been there. You know, like it's the worst, bro. You get relying on that shit, and it just was like, mm -hmm. you just start falling, bro. Like it's you just yeah. That was you my think next you're question. not high and shit. You're walking around like talking all crazy you think you're straight like you really genuinely think you're okay and shit yeah. and you'll be like blah, 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 blah. like bro it's crazy it's fucking nutty shit like wow and that's how I, it got with me like I, I was at that point like 
where I was taking like 12 to 15 bars mm. in a day. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. Every day. Mm. And I'm, like, I'm over here like, damn, I know what the fuck that is. I don't know, yeah. but that sounds like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, bro, it was, it was heavy. Like, it was really heavy. Damn. And I was on some shit. And like, you know, I, I had my, my parents were like giving me intervention and shit. Like it was it was bad, bro. Like yeah, it got that. serious. Yeah, it got serious. You we're, know, we're talking like I feel like people talk about like how JG just kind of said like the most epic moment or like a high type yeah. shit. But not a lot of people who <laughs> off that shit talk about kicking it for like, sure, kicking the drug. Oh like, yeah, I know the withdrawals are crazy. Oh, Bob, it's the worst. But talking talking to the like the youth and even the ones coming up that think like this, they're the on worst. this cool, bro. It was one of the worst withdrawals that you feel like you experienced. Oh, bro! Like when I when I finally kicked everything. Like I mean, I you honestly, I'm kicking, I'm kicking that shit, Xanax. I'm kicking syrup because mm -hmm. we're drinking syrup with it also oh my every God, other day too. Bro, so it's body. like, and I'm kicking like Norco's and shit like that. So it's like everything at once. Like I had a seizure, bro. I was literally I was at my mom's house. Just watching a movie, just kicking hella crazy, bro. Like just feeling like shit, bro. Oh like God, feeling like shit, the worst, bro. Like stomach all fucked up, mm -hmm. can't fuck. Hot, cold sweats, like just the worst, bro. Body's uncomfortable from head to toe, just <sighs> horrible. And I had a seizure, bro. I pass out. I wake up. Ambulance is there taking me out and shit. Wow. Like it was crazy, bro. And that was you just trying to stop. And bro. that was me stopping. Yeah. That's my body telling me, bro, go get some motherfucking. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Say like that. go get some Zannies, bro. Energy. What you doing? That's wow. real. Yeah. Don't, like up. you said, people don't speak no, on that side. Yeah. No, at all. Right? Yeah. And then there, there's consequences to this. Oh, it's, like, it you know ain't what I'm it. saying? It looks cool. Sounds good. For sure. Even with the lean shit, bro. Lean's one of the worst ones. I know what, it is. What, what was that? that was, was that cold turkey? Like you said, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Like, was, was that, that cold, cold turkey? turkey? Yeah. Cold turkey. Yeah. yeah. That was like the third day. Bro, I was sober. I can, Three I can, days, right? Oh, my goodness. Damn. See yeah. Damn, brother. I had another one, too. Because I was kicking for like, bro three months like it was bad like, mm. really bad like it was the worst shit ever bro who, who, i went to my mom's crib and just went into hibernation like mm -hmm. That's all you cut can off do. my phone bro everything like yeah you know i mean can it never, was crazy can never underestimate your parents man you think that they oh, don't for understand sure. they understand for man. sure oh for sure that's crazy. and that was like one of the things you know like it, it it was hard for me to see anything because i was so fucked up but you know, I saw my seeing my mom cry, like thinking I'm gonna die and shit, like from this shit, like mm. you know, that does something to you. Like Thanks. you know, like Maybe. there was a couple there was a couple instances that were like super serious that I was like, Okay, like this is an issue, you know what I mean? Like so my boy Soaring. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, he pulled me aside. He was one of my only friends that really pulled me aside, like, bro, like I don't know, like, I I love you, bro, and I'm telling you this because I love you, like, you're scaring me, bro. Like, it's real. I don't know if you're going to wake up tomorrow, like, every night, bro, you're over at my house fucking barred out, like, you're looking crazy, bro, and you're scaring me, you know? Have, have that, have that, uh, people, have those good people yeah, around you, you that can me? tell Straight you something up. like that. So that was like, and and I know it's hard for people to like, this is hard for, I get it. You feel me? It's not mm -hmm. easy to be like. Oh yeah, for sure. You yeah. know, to be up in someone's shit and like, especially me, cause I was just like hella crazy, bro, with my shit. And I would always be like, bro, fuck that. Yeah, I was like, like well, you weren't accepting yeah, you feel all me? of it. Like, fuck all that shit. Like, chill, bro. Like, what do you, don't say shit to me about that shit. Right. Like, bro, you know? So I know it took a lot for him to do that. Yeah. I've seen that and, same, uh, oh, my bad. No, you're good. No, that no, that was it. That was it. No, it, it was just, just like one of those crazy oh, situations, bro. Like, no, I don't say it's just I seen J. Cole kind of go through that same thing. It's like this little uh uh vine thing, not vine, but like one minute thing clip with him in 21 Savage. And he was talking about like him doing drugs at the party, saying 30s fucked up, yeah. goes in the backyard to throw up. And he's yep. like, and his homies come out like, bro, what are you doing? Yeah, you take this serious. Yeah, yeah. Well, shout out soaring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shout straight out soaring. Oh, hundred percent. You feel me? That's my brother. Like, I love that foot of death, bro. Like for real, I wouldn't be here without him. Like he's, that's, he's, that's my that's my boy. Yeah, yeah. That's T respect. Touch it back. Let's go back to the music a little bit. How you <laughs> feeling, music? You've been in for a minute, bro. Like you said higher, oh, the, higher learning, all that shit. You've been in it yeah. for a minute. How's the music game changed from from when you started to now? And you're getting uh, more deeper even in Stockton as well. Yeah, shit. Just to just shit more serious shit going on. Like you know, I got I'm with Empire now and. You know, they cool. that's cool, people. That's how that's been over there. How yeah. that relationship? Yeah, it's been super cool, bro. I love, I love the team over there, and we're doing like a, a bunch of dope shit 
That's with all the new music. So I'm hella excited about everything we got going on, bro. We've been just, t- I've been tucked away cooking, bro. Hell just yeah. waking up new shit. Like, we got yeah. so much new music, bro. I'm like super excited about. So Love to hear it's it. going to be a fun year. Like, I I'm, I was juiced for summer to start because, like I said, we just dropped that Demons on the 9th and the project's coming out at the end of the month. So it's going to be lit. Say that. Wait, at the end of the, like uh at the end of July? Yeah. Okay, say that. All end right, of bet, July, bet, like bet. first first week of August. Bet. If it if it does, because I'm pretty sure it's coming out first week of August, end of July. I'm not positive. Uh, we trying to get that exclusive for y'all. Yeah, we right trying there, to get though. that exclusive for y'all, man. Right there. Trying, <laughs> you know? Give us a period. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. right. Say that. Say bro, that. Let's get deep again. Let's get yeah. deep. I, when I hear your music, bro, I hear love, man, a lot. I don't know. I feel like you and love have a bad relationship. Yeah, why, no, but why, why, why I mean, is that? Why do you feel you? He said, "Yeah, him? definitely, <laughs> bro." I've I've attracted a lot of like toxic shit. Like I don't know, I just attracted a lot of toxic relationships, and um, <laughs> and like you saying like yeah. like I, I mean I feel <laughs> well, that. Honestly, it's not even I, just women too, right? I mean, Nick's love is in a, a whole different variances, yeah. as well. So I mean, for sure. Oh yeah, no, hundred percent. But why you sure. why 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 are you in love? Is, is, Man, I don't know. Yeah, is it is it getting better? I've been I oh yeah, you know, I just <laughs> I focus on my daughter, bro. I, I'm really just Hell yeah. She's everything to me. So that's 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 all I that's all I love right now. You know, I got she's 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 enough for me right now. I don't she got I got my hands full with her and Yes, yeah, sir. You that's know dope. what I'm saying? That's Shout dope. out your daughter. Shout mm-hmm. out baby girl. How I'm sorry to ask, but how does how does your daughter? She's about to be fucking eight years old this year. Oh, no wow. way. You almost got a preteen on your hands. And you better be taking her to high school soon. Yeah. I know. Like, bro, that's I lit know. though. I ain't even had a kid. I'm gonna be like 60 years old at my graduation for my kid. Yeah. That shit don't make no sense. Mm-hmm. No sense. Yeah, bro. Like, it's hella crazy. She's about to be eight years old. That's a blessing. Yeah, she's everything, bro. Like, I, I really fucking, you know, being a father is like the best shit ever, bro. Like, everybody got to experience that shit. So you uh, you talked about, you know, your relationship with Empire. With the way the music industry is, wait, hold on. I want to make sure I say this right. With the way the music industry is, people may not know the best way to get a deal or, yeah. what, it, or what getting a deal might take. Uh-huh. So can you explain for you what worked and what was your route that you took? Um, or the route that was given to you per se, whatever. It I is. think you just gotta keep like. I think people have this like notion that like, you can't you can't do something because of where you're from or like mm-hmm. from a lot of places, mm-hmm. not just out here. Like from a lot of places, like oh I'm from here, so I can't do this shit. Right. But now it's like, bro, with the internet, it's like you can be anywhere, and do you anywhere. You know, it's just about making good music. Like that's genuinely what I think. Mm-hmm. If you're gonna be an artist and you're and good gonna marketing, music, you can't knock like, the marketing. You gotta yeah, have good you, like, marketing. You gotta have good music. Yeah. You gotta make good that's music, it. and you gotta really want this shit. Like that's all it boils down to. Like you can do it anywhere, bro, and you can, you know, you, even even with not a lot of bread and and not having it, like you can do this shit if you really want to. You just gotta push, bro, and just really want that shit because there's a, a lot of people that are pushing and wanting it and you know they might they might take that opportunity yeah, yeah for yeah. sure and you can do a bunch of like crazy clout shit like internet shit and like get your little second of buzz or whatever but at the end of the day it's not true fans yeah you gotta have and, and you gotta have good music like what mm-hmm. happens after that you longevity, really? like, like what you gonna do like after yeah. that little moment like what, exactly and what, that's what happens a lot of people fall the fuck off and it's like we never see them again you know it's the and that's all they're known for and shit, you know? But it's like... Stay it. consistent. Yeah, stay consistent. Make good music and, and just put that work in. But I'm going to assume that you're in a relationship with Empire that you've been getting paid through your music, right? So what did you do the first time you got paid? Oh, the, well, the first time I ever got paid was with this company called Get Do, right? Say it one more time. Uh, this company called Get Do. Get and it was like this... Uh, it was like this side little side company that did like distribution and shit like that. Okay. And I, I was talking to a bunch of like other people that were like trying to sign me and shit. And this little company just came and like they gave me like ten thousand dollars and it was it was it was like bro, I had never you know and they gave me some bread up front. What'd you was, do, bro? You lit. fuck it off, bro. What'd you do? Oh, of course, All, you know. Of course, I fucked it off, bro. It it was fun though, you know. Like it's it's always fun when you have something like that, like. Mm-hmm. There's those moments where it's like it's lit and you get to just have a little splurge and shit and that that's fun. Hell yeah. 
the first shit. time yeah, was all it was different, like for sure. You know, that first, first, very first time, it's like it, it's it's lit mm-hmm. off top. It's lit. Fuck you mean every other month. What you mean? What I mean? <laughs> you try to sleep that in there, huh? What do you mean every other month? What you mean what I mean? <laughs> oh man. Ready to take a deep breath? We can take a deep breath. Let's go. You feel me? Uh People don't appreciate what a deep breath really can do. You feel me? So yeah, we, without it, you die. You know? oh God. I mean, for real, for real. TPH on. time for the new ones <laughs> tuning in. It's where we dive into the mind of a true PH. Oh, it's where shit. we get into the mind of a true pothead. So let me ask y'all a question, right? I've been out on the bell, right? COVID and kind of uplifting. I've been in the little bar skis. I've been over here, you know what I'm saying? Getting out. I've been, I've been inside, so I've been getting out. Hopping and shit. Right? So there's been a conversation going on around amongst the fellers, right? And I got to get your opinion on it. Oh, shit. What's your take on buying a random female's drink when you're necessarily in that setting of a bar ski or uh, Man. I don't have the... T- I can't answer Yes, that. you can. This, no. is, this is just a, a hypothetical situation. <laughs> you can answer it. You definitely can. Hypothetically, I'm Hypoth- not answering <laughs> that. <laughs> you can. Because for real, though, like, think about it. Like, for me, bro, I'm not doing it. I'm going to keep it a book. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it either then. <laughs> I'm, not I'm with my man it's for Jay the reason Jonah. for the simple fact that that's why they come. Then the females who go into clubs and bars with no money in their pockets, bro. Yeah. That's their goal is to fucking for go sure. in there and have dudes pay for their drinks. Off I'm top. not gonna be that guy Schemers. that you say hi with and then and then literally that's all it is, buy your drink and you gone for the rest of the night. Yeah. That ain't it. And nah. I bet I ain't gonna lie though. <laughs> if we're vibing, I'm damn, we get a couple of dances in, we come have a conversation. Oh, that's definitely something that I can get. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You want something to drink? We can have something with it. Yeah. So you talk. compromising with the bitch? Compromise. You like, hold on. I just don't buy this drink, I'm not but you got to <laughs> dance with me, though. Like, nah, no, nah, not even that. We got to be vibing. Even if it's just a conversation in the in, at the bar or whatever it may be. Like, yeah. it's got to be something more she than gotta just She got to be grateful. That, hey, you want a drink? Like, I remember one of the homies who was in LA. She be like, grateful at the club. <laughs> so last thing with a bitch, mind being grateful at the club. I just got out of church. I'm going to go try this at the club. <laughs> what? This guy's stupid. Oh, oh man. man. What about you, though? What you, what you, same thing or what? Yeah, I would say... Don't do it. I can't do it. But I'm okay with it, you know, for the, you know what I mean? It just depends if in the right setting, like. But I'm not gonna fucking pay, have, I'm not going to pay for her to ask talk to dog. me. No, nah, no, nah, never yeah, That's that. what they do though. But I was in LA, right? The female literally put, the dudes put her fucking, their phone on the table, did a quick follow, didn't speak to them for the rest of the night, bro. They come in here, they oh. get three, that's three quick follows for her. And she got a free drink out, out of, of it. Pocket. They smarter Didn't, than most niggas. They go to the club for marketing. <laughs> niggas go to the club, shoot the shot, and brick. Bro, it's terrible. It's terrible. That's it what's no sad sense. about it. <laughs> TVH time, bro. TVH oh, God. time. Oh, God. Hey, hold on. I got to do one thing. Show of hands. We got three people in the back. Shout out, you know what I'm saying? What, Julio? Hiro. 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 I'm sorry, man. Shout out, Hiro. Shout out, my man, Hiro. We got uh, my man, Murph. And we got Emilio. Email. Show of hands. Are y'all buying uh, a bitch drink at the motherfucking bar? Off the first, <laughs> random, random. No random. hands. Everybody, nobody, <laughs> nobody raised their hands, Thank y'all. Thank you. I nobody raised their hands. Point, I've done it. That's a lot. You've done it? <laughs> Hyrule, have there you, you done it before? That's smart. Have you done it before? Mm-hmm. He said, oh, hold on. He said, hold on. Let me say this with him. Let me say this. Off top, he has. But so. Say it. I'm not paying for anybody. Ever. There you go. Ever. There you go. That's my dog. That's real P right here. Real P. I'm too interesting to face somebody. Exactly. Ah, exactly. Say that. Hey, what you talking about, nigga? Ah, let's go. Oh, let's buddy. go. Say that. That's a dope ass TPH, oh, though. No I didn't get my deep breath, though, because I've been laughing the whole time. Go ahead, bro. Take a deep breath. <laughs> get a shish. Uh, but you got a uh, higher learning gang on the on the arm, bro. I oh, yeah. I'm speaking That's on parties one. to keep it going. I got it on my chest, too. I, I, I want to hear the most epic memory. One of the higher learning parties and Lincoln parties back in the day. Oh, years ago. bro. Crazy. Let me hear about it. Uh, let's see. We had this one night um, in Brookside, bro. Like it was literally like Project X, bro. Like uh, it was in one the of gates. The, oh yeah, in the gates. Bro. Oh, he's it crazy. was crazy, bro. He's crazy. It was at the homie uh, Ziad's house, right, bro? It was the most out of pocket party ever, bro. Like, and we were just my boy had like a bunch of Molly, right? So he was selling everybody at the party Molly and just. Everybody was smacked the fuck out off Molly like the whole night, bro. And the cops came, right? This was like on the top on the top deck of his house. 
on the balcony like, fuck y'all, you can't get in. Oh, like, hell like, no. Nah. <laughs> but the camera's rolling, bro. bro oh, Please. bro, I wish. I, I, I had it rolling on my phone, but I lost so much footage, bro, like, God just from it. breaking phones and bullshit like that. Yeah. That, but bro, that like happens. the cops came, right? He's on his balcony like, fuck y'all. I'm not coming out. Like all this crazy <laughs> ass shit. That's We're like, crazy. bro, fuck. So they come in, like they stormed in and kicked everybody out. Oh, hell no. And me and my boys, we we had uh, my girl, like she lived a few houses down and you could take the, you could take the golf course like to, to her house. Mm -hmm. So we hopped the back fence on the golf course, bro. And just ran to her house. Key. It was the maniest shit ever, bro. That's crazy. Nigga said, I, safe. I, I yeah, we're home. Straight up, we got to the house. I was like, all right, we good. Damn. But that shit was hella Brickside, crazy, though? It's it probably crazy. Like, it was yeah. all Brickside. And they be tripping in there. Like, yeah, it, they got, bro. They How many people security on top? Oh, bro, everything. easily probably like, probably like 100 people. Type in a house. In a house. In Brookside. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was out of pocket, bro. It was like one of the craziest nights fucking ever. What's the, oh how like, I still remember that shit to this day, bro. That shit was <laughs> said it crazy, it up, bro. How, how did it feel to get back on stage after COVID? Oh, it was fun. It was definitely fun. Yeah. I'm excited for shows just to be back in general. Like, it's been a long ass time. And we had a whole shit, like, we had a whole tour planned before COVID hit. So I'm excited always to perform. That shit's always hella fun and just interacting with fans. And you know what I'm saying? That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. For sure. Oh, yeah. He brought up the, uh, <clears throat> how you learn a tattoo. Like a couple months ago, you tweeted that you wanted to get another face tat. So, oh, yeah. What was your, uh, what inspired your first tattoo and what led you get, to get your face tat? So it's um, like two different eras. I've always liked tattoos. What was the first one? The first one was this one right here. No, no, the first face one. First face tattoo was my daughter. Got you. Avery, right here. When you, what year did you get that? Uh, eight, 2000 eight years ago. 18. <laughs> Yeah, see, that was yeah. not eight years oh, ago. Yeah, you're or, right, you're right. yeah, 2018. Yeah. What was your most recent one? My most recent one was my face right here, Cozy's World. That was that's that that was lit. That's yeah, what I fucked with me. the most. Okay. That was that was my most recent. I need to go I back and get a bunch of shit. Who you are? Imagine having an action figure of you, nigga. Oh yeah, I'll stop. I want <laughs> some of that. Crazy. I want one. So, so in 2018, oh, God. did you know you were like, man, I'm never. Gonna have a real job. I'm oh, not for sure. Be in... I mean, bro, I, for the I longest, hire... I always told my mom too. I was like, I'm not gonna tat under my eyes. I won't do it, you know. And my boy passed away, and I just said, fuck it. And I just was like, I want to do this shit. And I just knew I want I wanted to do it, and I did it. You know what I'm saying? I went and did it. And so I did it. Yeah, <laughs> it really did. And then I went and got my mom's name on the other side. And so I went home. I was like, "Can't get mad at that, mom." Yeah, you, yeah, you can't. You can't. Everywhere but you go, she probably it. already knew I was going to do that shit. But which one was the most painful? On the face, or no, just in anywhere? general? Um, uh, probably my fucking. You want to do new new? I don't know. Probably like my chest, honestly. Really? Like, or you know what was the most pain? Not like my chest tattoo because it took hell long and shit. It was like a 12 hour session because I have like I have higher learning gang and then I have like space and like planets and like an astronaut all behind it and shit. Mm -hmm. And just like, bro, hours. my collarbone, like right here, bro, that shit was hella bad. Like mm -hmm. all this shit right here was hella bad because it was all like black and gray shading. So it was just that shit hurt like a bitch. You go to the same artist? Shin. Yeah, I go to like a few different ones. Oh, yeah. That's more than nine Every time. Yeah, no, no here no, you, no, can no, put you can't a mix it. One. That's the other one. That's the other oh, one. Oh, that's the other one. Yeah, all you right. go wait to the new one. I gotta catch up. Man. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> nah, we solid, honestly. I ain't even halfway through my questions yet. God damn. No, yeah, we got we chilling. This shit good though. I actually like it. Like for real, this shit's good. Hell yeah. What's GTM? You said what? CTM, GTM? CTM? On your shirt? Oh, this is uh Chinatown Market. Oh, oh okay. Chinatown Market. Yep. Say that. That's, That's out here in Stockton? Nah, it's some fucking where are they from, Hyro? Chinatown Market's in LA, right? right. Yeah, LA? LA, yeah. That's your people? Chinatown Market. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, it's just just a fire ice brand I fuck with. Oh, yeah, say yeah. that, say that. Uh, I, yeah. I kind of want to get into it a little bit because I heard you touch on it in the past episode or like past interviews you did. Um, being that mom is respected in like the school and like district, yeah. as like, was there ever pressure you felt like to be, like you, did you have to get held to a certain standard necessarily? Um, I think my mom did a really good job of like making sure that wasn't the case. You know okay, what I mean? that's dope. Yeah, she's dope. always like, she's, bro, I love my mom so much. She's like, always been hella cool. And 
Shout out, you know, I wasn't always the best, and you know, I was I was always smart, like, but I just fucked it. I fucked shit off back in school. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And she was always did, did like, you graduate? even after. No, I didn't graduate. No, never graduated. Did you get your GED? I didn't get my GED oh, either. Okay, okay. I'm Actually, gonna get my GED though. You, you want to? Off top. That's dope. I went back for a second, but it was at a time where I just wasn't ready yet. I feel you. And so I just. I didn't get it done. It's difficult. What I'm learning in life, though, <laughs> is like that process of homework and tests. Like, yeah, it, it, it's through life. It never goes sure. away. You know what I mean? You have to do it, regardless if it's like a GD or a new job or oh, studying top. for a real estate license, whatever it may be. You got that's a fact. It's the 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 bullet points that they teach you about school. She's uh, still there. Yeah. If you could go back, would you graduate? Would you have graduated? Mm hmm. Yeah, you did that differently. What was that campus that you last what? touched foot on? What campus was that? It was Lincoln. Oh, yeah. And it was my sophomore year. And I got kicked out for some dumbass shit. God damn. I wasn't going to school, you know? I feel you. I was like, I was fucking it all off. You know? I was getting Aight. fucked up every day. Aight. So many ways to make money out here type shit. Yeah, so. you know? <laughs> but, you know, I wouldn't change the shit that happened with me because... You know, I, I learned from those mistakes and I learned from, you know, all, everything I've put myself through and, and, and you know, even shit that's been some fatal, crazy shit. Like, you know, it it was able to make me who I am today and, and have the mind and thought process I do, you know? Great. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, what? like, I think we learned from all of the worst shit that happens, like, the most, you know, there's a lot of you got to learn from that shit. There's only that's all that's all you can do from that type of shit. You, you got to go through the experiences. Yeah, you know. I personally don't believe in good or bad because an experience yeah. is experience. You feel me? You yeah, learn from for both sure. Of them. Exactly. Yeah, that's real. That's real. I'm mm -hmm. learning a lot through experiences right now because not everybody yeah. been through certain shit that, like, even with the podcast, you with the trying to be, yeah. become a you know a known rap or known sure. artist. It's like we nobody's gonna tell you how to do that. You got to find that shit on your own. So if I'm you go tired. through bumps and bruises, mm -hmm. you can't get like, mom, dad, cousin. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You I can't get mad at us because we we got to go through it type thing. I'm That's tired. real. Take me to uh, one of your lowest times, like musically though. Mm -hmm. Like your lowest times musically. What caused that, and how'd you push through that? This my shit right here. Lowest times musically. This my shit. Um. I I can barely hear Probably one right like, because I used to be, I, we used to do higher learning, right? And there was a time when just like, everybody was kind of just stopping and shit, you know what I mean? And I still was like, I want to do this shit. Like, I still want to do this shit. Mm -hmm. And because shit, you know, life, life starts happening, bro. And it's like, what are we really going to do? Like, what are we doing, bro? We're going to yeah. like. We finna make music and like mm -hmm. rap and just you know like it sounds dope and shit. But yeah, that's like, real. Yeah. That's, are we that's, really that's gonna do it? Anything. Yeah, you like, feel me? Life like goes straight on. up. And it and that and it got and that's what it was. And you know everybody kind of stopped and you know even Soren was just like, bro, like I gotta fucking, you know, I gotta fucking work and gotta I gotta get to do, work. yeah, you know, life, it's just what life, it is. Man. And, it you was, get to and, and I and I respect that shit, like of course, but. That shit was like I had to just be like you know, I'm I'm just gonna do it myself like and kept doing it you know mm -hmm. but that was a crazy ass time too because the it was split like, up you like, saying like yeah that, the split up that, that like, was that yeah, was the know? lowest damn what year was that Dex that was a while ago bro like I don't even know the year I couldn't even say the year like to be honest with you because yeah. it was a while ago bro this was like this was probably like right after high school type shit like. It happened again. You yeah. never know, y'all. I mean, like it. Oh no, those are my brothers. Like still, that's what I'm like saying. Oh, those are still my brothers and shit. Like that's what I'm saying. I still talk to them all the time and shit. And that is always love, you know. And they still bang that shit. Like it's, it's still as HLG. you do as well. You off got top, a it's on the always body. it's always mean? gonna be HLG. Like hell yeah, off top. Um, yes. yeah, speaking on lowest point, you ever a time you wanted to quit music? Uh oh, um. I don't think so. No, it's always I'm go mode. Yeah, I think there was like I don't know. I think I love it too much to like stop doing it like that. Even even when I like even when it was like that at that point too. You know, like mm -hmm. I still love doing it. Like I just there's something about it that just kept me doing it and kept me wanting to keep doing it. And I still love it to this day. Like I I genuinely love this shit. Like I love making music. I love mm -hmm. everything about it. So. 
as hey. long as like you know it's it's yeah it's to, fuck no yeah, yeah you feel me? it's dope yeah, yeah it's fucking dope how you feeling i'm i'm solid what do you want to um you got more let's go i'm ready i'm gonna make sure i covered all my shit too <laughs> go ahead, nah, go ahead. you talk about my, my name my mom and dad dad say all gas no brakes they never gonna stop feel me you know what i'm saying so like and you didn't tap in with a lot of people inside the city you know what i'm saying yeah. that's you know what i'm saying you got it this you stay but out here yeah. Like outside the city, who you really want to work out? Who you want to be? Who you want to get in the booth with? Who you want to collab with? Oh, shit. There's if, a lot. There's you got a little Blurry, you know what I'm saying? You know? Oh, yeah. That's my boy. That's my bro. <laughs> like, I just talked it's, to Blurry today. Oh, shit. That's my boy. But I'm just saying, like, who's your who's your all-time one that, that you yeah. really want to... Right, that you really want to... Um, There's a lot of artists, bro, I fuck with. Like, it. I think it would be dope. To, like, I, 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 I was talking to my uh, people at Empire, too, about, about doing, like, some shit with like somebody from like an old alternative band. Like we were talking about doing some shit like that. That shit would be hella crazy. Travis Barker. Like with like the singer from like some 41 or mm. like Travis Barker would be lit as fuck too, of course. But like, yeah, some shit like that. And then, um, yeah, like, I mean, the artists now, now that are out now, like I fuck with like Trippy Red and like shit like that. You know I, what I mean? That. Yeah, I shit like that. that would be cool as fuck. Safe to say you actually want to do like some type of rock, not rock star album, but like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? With the, with the rock star theme. For sure. Yeah. Say that. For I'm sure. looking forward to that. Anybody yeah. from Stockton you want to collab with type shit? Um, off top. Yeah. I'm trying I'll work with everybody. Bro, I love seeing Stockton just get get some shine. And Can shit. we get how, how much is a feature for the, for the ones that want to do? Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean if you hit, hit the DM, you say hit yeah, the DM. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hit the DM, you know what I'm saying? We could talk. You know, just talk to him, you know what I'm saying? Throw That's a number respect. at the boy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Respect. But um if it's the homies, it's love, bro. I'm just trying to. I, I'm working and shit. You know what I mean? Like, I, there's a lot of people that are getting some shine right now, and I love it, bro. You know, I love whoever it is. Like, That's it's dope. it's no weirdo shit. It's no beef. It's no fucking dumb shit like that. Like, I want to see everybody just. So I love get shine and shit, and and once people realize there's enough for everybody to eat. Yeah, yeah. You know, the city can keep growing and. We Shit talk about that all crazy. the time, about the yeah. city growing. Like, bro, why can't people stay the <laughs> night here on a how we go to SF yeah. and stay the night at a hotel? For why sure. Can't people come over here and stay the night at a hotel yep. here. And it's like, bro, it's crazy because it'd be like, it'd be, it, it'd be politics, bro, with a lot of these people that are, you know, that are mm-hmm. up and, and doing their thing. And it's like, you wish that shit could, you, like, they could it work did, together it didn't or, like, do a yeah. song together or, like, you know, and it's like, I feel you. It's just what it is, like, mm-hmm. and that's just what it is, and got you. Wow. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Shit, crazy, right? Like, that's just hell of a while. I understand that. Hey, uh, Dex, what all goes into your? Uh... Oh, I got one right here. Oh, yep. What all goes into your music videos? Oh, shit, I was just watching one. Oh, actually, I was watching a lot of them today. But like, yeah. they all like Dog Day Red. I'm sorry. Holy shit. Go this ahead. Day's different after that. Shout them out. No, Dog Day Red. This is super sweet. Okay. Go the next one. Go ahead, man. What all goes into your uh, music videos though? Because they're like many movie movies with your choreography, and then you still got the uh, thank you, bro. The uh, what's the word? The um, the wardrobe that you go into. My man was in a suit yeah. and shit like that. Yeah. Like, do you work with the same people? <laughs> many movies is the right way to put it. There really are many yeah. movies. Do you work with the right same people, or do you try to branch out to other people? Like, how do you try and make sure that your quality of content with your videos is what you actually want to put out? Or do you um, leave that up to the other person type thing? Usually, I work with my boy. Like lately, I've been working a lot with my boy Park. Like. Ever since I dropped Cozy's World, um, I worked a lot with my boy Park. And I still did, I did this one video with my boy Trevor, who I used to work like super close with. Still my boy, and we got some new shit coming out too. Um, shout out Trevor. Yeah, shout out Trevor. He's over at No Jumper now. Um, oh shit. But uh, I've been working with my, boy, with my boy Park, and he's super dope. And we put together like all the crazy concept videos, and like that was with him, you know, mm-hmm. me and Park putting the shit together. And, we got a lot of crazy shit, bro, like that we've been working on and it's been super fire and we just- Now is that a 50-50 collab or is that you coming in with an idea? Like how's that- It's work? like me me and my team coming in with an idea and him going crazy with it and just back and forth. Like, it's yeah, this would be dope. Yeah, this this then late that. night calls, like, hey, yeah. what if we do this? Yeah, yeah. straight up, you know That's what I mean? You. And, but, but bro, Park is amazing, you know? He's amazing, bro. Park is fucking with the shit. Super talented kid, bro. Like he works like crazy, bro. Like I, I, I've never seen anyone work like the the way he does. Like how old is he? Younger than he's younger than us. He's like twenty. He's like twenty five, something like that. Twenty. Shut up, Park. Yeah. Shut up, Park. He's yeah. fucking crazy, bro. 
Yeah. He's crazy. That's lit. Super was that talented. Film? Was that filmed out here? Uh, which one? Freezing? Freezing? Yeah. Uh, no, that was at my boys. Uh, jewelry shop in San Jose. Okay, that yeah. shit was so lit, bro. Yeah. It might, it might that shit, bro. Uh, uncut gems, in the way. Bro, you should have really seen me, like I was outside on the street, like with that commercial and shit. Oh I'm my god! I'm literally out there in the daytime, just like bro. There's hella people walking around <laughs> and driving by, and I'm in this suit, like face tattoos, like bro. smoking cigarettes and shit, like with my grill in and shit. Dad like, diamonds, bro. fuck. I mean, yeah. they, they had, they shoot, had shoot to have known shit. It was hilarious. <laughs> they had bro. to have known you was somebody. They didn't. They, yeah, it they was had funny to have known as fuck. Somebody. You did say the first one you said as soon as that skit went. I don't forget what you said, but that shit was funny as fuck. So I started laughing. Yeah, the little TV screen one. But all right, for sure. Shout out, shout out your man's though. Mm -hmm. so that's lit. Um, hey, shout out my boy Zorro. You know what I'm saying? Out there in, at G Star Jewelers. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, shout him out. Real legend. Got to check that. Oh out. God, real real legend. That's gotta, fire. Gotta he's the he's out. the littest jeweler, bro. Like I be trying to tell my boys, bro. Like, bro, go fuck with if y'all fuck with gold and shit. He'll Look, put y'all on, bro. He'll, he'll do you. Saying? Is the San price, Jose. The price she on Oh, the price is right, baby. Yeah, always. He said the price is right, baby. Mm -hmm. Always. Say that. That's dope. I used to go to Gold USA all the time, right? I went to I went to Zorro. Like everything I do is I go to Zorro. And uh like he did my grill set, for instance, you know? Mm-hmm. 22 carat? Uh 18. Or, Say that. Yeah, 18. Yeah. Say that. These bitches are thick as fuck, like bulky you know what i mean i went to gold usa it's like paper thin like the thin mm, grill like, uh, and it's cool like you you know it's still good shit and it's not i'm not knocking it nothing, nothing like that but brother when i got this set of teeth i was like oh okay you could just see like the, the craftsmanship quality. you like, know it's different it's you thin, take his time yeah you it. feel me like i could take this bitch to a pawn shop and you yeah. know i take that shit in i get like 100 200 dollars worth of gold yeah because that's what it's worth you know mm -hmm. on a scale that's this dope. bitch I'm gonna, I'm gonna get at least. They're gonna have to give me a band or some shit. Yeah, right? Nice. I mean, like on some real shit. I, I need to go. All right, yeah, I'm definitely so, gonna tell. Okay, yeah, that's a story I need to hear. Yeah, say that. And say they're that. they're fire, bro. Custom pieces, all type of shit. I, that's my brother. So go fuck with bro. And yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, if y'all fuck with it, like I'll put y'all in contact too. Quick, he's Quick. the homie, and he'll BSP show y'all love. Love. He's good. Damn. Yeah, yeah, he's fire. Hell yeah. Where we at? Uh, what we, we got time, man? How you feeling, Dad? Hey, oh, you, you good? I'm cooling. That's dope, man. I'm about ready for a refill. You know oh saying? yeah, go ahead. Let's pull you up. I want you to try this dog day, no cap. Random question, Dad Dex. Top five places to eat out in Stockton. Ooh, ooh. Random thought before we. You know I'm saying random thought. Where are you Damn. going? Where Damn, are you going? Top five. Dog. I day. gotta start with. Uh... Pull you up. I got so. You know, I gotta mention Best Lumpia. The one over <laughs> here, I love Best Lumpia. Oh, I heard that. I gotta, I gotta mention this. Best Lumpia, bro. Oh God, I gotta. Bro, best Lumpia need to give him a sponsorship bro, already. Bro, put his oh, face hey, on there. That's a fact. <laughs> um, damn, I gotta think. I gotta really think. Best Five. Lumpia. Um, Mexican. Mexican. I used to fuck with this one spot, bro. I can't remember what it's called, though. Where is it at? It's called like uh, La Picosita. Nah, it was like Chill. this, bro. It was like Chill. this little. It was like this, relax. It was like this little yellow building off of Fresno Street. That was like this random ass little place. I can't remember. What it's, I'm not gonna remember, but Mexican food. Uh, Katrina's been fire off hammer lately. I ain't even gonna lie. Katrina's to you. heat pizza. Pizza. You know, got to go. I fought with Michaels. I fought with uh, Dante's. I mean, Dante's. I, my stomach's been hurting up with Dante's. Has lately, it? Bro. I ain't, I ain't been there in dumbass long. So I just maybe, had I maybe I like shouldn't have said that. They solid. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a okay. solid. Okay. I, I, okay. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna downplay. Bro. <laughs> I don't Every like that I've shit either, three bro. times, three <laughs> times in a row, my stomach been turning no. the next morning, bro. No, what the I fuck it like is, once a week. You need pizza? God damn. I get the pizza every time, bro. I get the pepperoni, olive, and some jalapeno. Every time you spin it, bro. Not good. That's fucked up. That's three. And uh, Chinese shit, let me see. food. Chinese food. You Chinese. Oh, I love Chinese food. I be fucking with. Uh, 
I love Show Me, bro. Like I always tell my daughter to show me. My daughter loves Show Me. Oh, and then, that's in Lincoln Center, no? That's in yeah. Lincoln Center, yeah. And then uh, what's that one spot called, bro? Um, Yan Ching. Y'all ever fuck with Yan Ching? Yan Du, Yan Ching. Both Yen of those spots. You ever, you ever been to Yan Ching? Uh, it's, I think it's in Lincoln Center too, but it's on. It's by like Trader Joe's and shit. That place one. slap. For real. Oh shit! Gotta go over there. They got the honey walnut. Oh, Yan Ching by Dad's Hot Dogs. Yeah, right there. Yes, bro. Oh, they do I go see crazy. that one right yeah, there. That place, yeah, they do go crazy. They go crazy. They go crazy. Dad's Hot Dogs go crazy too. Shout out Dad's Hot Dogs. I fuck with like Mongolian barbecue sorry as fuck. I fuck with like that type of shit. Which one though, bro? We gotta go Man. to the same one. I gotta go. Which to one you go to? Marshalls. Off that's top. the fire one. Oh right yeah, there. that's the only one. Yeah, I don't go yeah. any other one besides that one. And any yeah. other one is too. They don't do. It's less. Yeah, they, they do more. <laughs> I fuck with Smitty's. Where yeah, are you going to get a burger out in Stockton? I, I, lo I love sandwiches too, like John's Deli. Y'all fuck with John's oh, Deli? Oh, Miracle Mile? I miss Tom's. Miracle Mile. Oh, I, I, yeah, that miss place Tom's. Was, it was heat too. Um, what'd you say? What was the last question you just uh, said? My fucking shit. Uh, oh, he's high. Damn. <laughs> a burger? A <laughs> burger. Yes, yeah, sir. My bad, Dex. Burger. Um, man, I'm a, I'm, people be calling me sick, bro, but I, I, I would have to say... In and out, bro. I yeah. don't know what else I could say, like, other than we're talking about Stockton, by the way. Other bro. than Five Guys, okay. Now you going somewhere? I love Five Guys. I'm okay. Gonna say, okay. Dex, what, you, in the what, whip. what would you say? Hop like the habit? Whip, go, no, 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 no. What's Hop you, in the whip. You gonna come? We gonna eat. It's good. good. Where are you gonna take him? <laughs> but I mean, we'll go to Port City for one. Okay. Shout no, out okay. Port City. We, we, we hey, I ain't Damn. never been there. We go to I'm Manny. sleep. Oh, bro, chicken sandwich. I, I wouldn't even put you on. The That's burger. like my chicken favorite sandwich. shit too. So I gotta pull up. Yeah, yeah. If I have to. No, I love getting put on Port City, bro. Um, I gotta slide over there. Manny's got a good burger too. Can can oh Manny's yeah, Manny's burger. heat too. Yeah. The fried chicken sandwich go brazy over there. Mm -hmm. I only go to only go to Manny's for the chicken. I don't even yeah. eat the burgers. No cap, their that sauce is heat. good. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, pretty yeah. much. That's five. Yeah, that's yeah. five. How you yeah. feeling, man? You ready for the final cheers? You pour hey, it. We gotta try go. to try the dog, man. You gotta try the dog. Can you try it yet? Shout out, shout out, Dior. Salute, salute, yeah, in this thing. salute, yeah, yeah. salute. Mm. Sweet, super sweet, mm. different. It's different, right? Different from the other one. Not tart, no tart, no at all. But yeah, that shit's was, fire. Mm -hmm. That shit, that shit tastes like JG. Like he a Hennessy drinker, so JG like this one. That shit tastes grapey, <laughs> grapey, yeah, right? Grapey. That's a nice way to put it. That is a nice way to put it. That's grapey. But real quick, before we get out of here, bro, anything you gotta say that people will what's up next, what's coming up, where can they man. find you at on your social medias, all that shit, man. You can find me at DadX on every platform, you know what I'm saying? And go get that new Demons that just dropped. Go get that new Demons that just dropped July 9th. We in this bitch. Mm -hmm. We got the EP coming out. I'm not even going to say the name of the EP because I'm going to release it closer oh, shit. to okay. the drop. You know what I'm saying? That's exclusive, you know exclusive, what I'm saying? Exclusive, exclusive. But it's coming out soon, baby. The end of the uh, July... Early, Early August. August. Yes, sir. You <laughs> bitch. Let's go. Look forward for that, y'all. Look yeah, forward man, for that. Bro, like you said, we appreciate you for coming through, bro. For Off real. top. No, I appreciate y'all having me, bro. Man, All love, bro. I fuck it. with y'all, bro. Signing out this thing. It's your man, JG. You already know it's Jay Jonah. If we that X in this bitch. You feel me? Hell yeah. Boop. All right, man. We got this thing. Splowing smoke. Yes, sir.